What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review, or my next review for Star Wars The Bad Batch, and it's for Season 1, Episode 1, Rampage. So we have the crew um, going out on a limb to get some information on who, or not on a limb, but to get information on who the bounty hunter after them is, and they land on Ord Mantell to speak with someone who could potentially help them, but wants something in return, so essentially she's turning the Bad Batch into a group of mercenaries to capture who they think is a humanoid child but as it turns out is a rank baby a baby rancor so they take care of the job and uh, overall that's the simplicity of the episode um, they are able to capture the the rancor and give it to the lady who hired them who transfers it to the owners who were looking for that rancor um, but from here, the episode takes a good turn in that it has a nice couple of bits of Easter eggs, trivia, um, things like that to make it um, a very intriguing episode or a continuing episode in the Bad Batch um, story and for the Star Wars universe. So to start it off, we get our first look at Ord Mantell which was first mentioned in Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back, where Han tells Leia about running into the bounty hunters on Ord Mantell that changed his mind about the bounties. So um, it got me thinking that Ord Mantell, Mantell is a safe haven or a general haven for bounty hunters to conduct their business, but it was nice to get a visual on a city that we've generally only heard in Star Wars lore. Um, I don't know if Ord Mantell has shown up in Star Wars Old Republic, the MMORPG, just because I haven't gotten that far into the game yet, so for me this isn't um, the first look there. Um, and then continuing in the episode, we get the return of the Zygerian slave traders. Um, so this is a group that we first saw earlier in the Clone Wars when um, Anakin and Ahsoka are trying to free some slaves and um, Ahsoka learns that um, Anakin used to free be a slave and that's why he takes to slavery very hard and doesn't abide by it. So um, overall that story arc, or it was good, just good to see those guys back um, as character models, not the slavery part just to be clear, but um, an interesting turn there. Um, Otherwise, as far as the Rancor goes, I got to thinking when we were when we had the Bad Bash trying to capture the Rancor that um, what's easier or harder to capture a uh, Rancor or Raftars. So another Han Solo reference, and nothing related to the episode per se, but I just got to thinking which is harder to capture. But this ties into the end of the episode because we learned that the baby Rancor that the team was set out to capture was the baby rancor that we see at the um, beginning of episode 6 return of the jedi um, in jabba's palace so um that was the baby rancor we see there um so obviously in the time that luke and the gang show up there the rancor has aged up a little bit um so in this case it looked a bit silly um just because an animated version it looked more like a um Fortnite character, I guess. So, um, that was kind of the um, downside to the, the character model, but overall, it was good to see a connection in the Bad Batch um, as far as relating to the films and continuing that bit of background information in this universe between um, episode three, um, Revenge of the Sith, and episode. I, well, I guess the original trilogy in general, just because we have Ord Mantell in Episode 5 and the Rancor in Episode 6. So that's all there is for this particular episode and review. Um, so like I said, like I've been usually saying, it's been generally a um, piece by piece progression as far as um, what they've been presenting um, in each episode, but it is the Bad Batch continuing to try and make their way through this new universe after the war and in this brand new empire. So um, we'll see kind of how the season ends still, but I'm kind of curious 
what all of these pieces mean or what it leads into as far as um, what happens to the group, uh, what we learn and how it um, generally relates or how it finalizes that gap between episode three uh, and episode four of the films. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, stuff I missed, stuff you thought was awesome, um, something I missed or was said incorrectly or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at Patel N01 the, or comment on this post on the uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash uh, Patel N01. And of course, the um, website is headfullsdeal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.